Hey guys, Grimmy here, and today we are going back to Grim Customs, where we're actually going to be making this Night Beat figure, which you can see has been thoroughly disassembled, into Minerva. Um, I'll try to get a better picture on the, in the edits, but uh, basically, we're making this chick right here. See where my thumb is? That white and red girl with the orange face? Yeah, that's the one we're doing. So, in G1, I don't know if Minerva was repainted into Night Pete or repainted from Night Pete, but they were the same mold. So, naturally, this is going to be the same mold as well, with a couple little shapeways um, additions like you got the waist piece you know two pieces um, has a specific design I'm not sure how well that works but yeah oops you got the Minerva chest You know, just a little chest plate to go over the regular robot chest. And last but not least, the Minerva head. It's hard to make out the details, I know, but this is a clear version. But yeah, we're going to be making Minerva. I'm going to try to time the um, videos a little better so that they're all about even 15 minutes. Uh, I'll see if I can get a timer together or watch a clock a bit better. So we'll see what we can do. But before we can actually paint this, I got to prime them using a flat matte gray which I got three bottles of. Should be enough. My only fear is if I have enough white. I only got this one. I may have to go out for it. And I might have to get some more thinner because that's um, going to be needed to thin out the white paint. But I'm actually going to do the priming off camera because that's going to take forever. And I think you want me to get into the meat and potatoes of this uh, little customizing anyway. So, I'll come back when the priming's done. And, and you'll see that in just a moment. Okay, and we're back. So, the primer's all laid out. As you can see, gray all over. But look at all that sculpted detail that's showing so easily now. Oh, this is good. This will also be good for the paints as it'll... The... Like the blue won't show through on the white. When I actually get to painting her. Well, painting the white. <laughs> but you've got plenty of sculpted detail, especially on the shapewise parts. And we can get a better look at this face. And it is a lovely looking face, too. And it really does show nicely. Yeah, that's good news. But we're going to be painting her mostly red and white. And... If any of you have painted, you know how painful white is. <coughs> so, I think it's probably best if I started with the red. At least some of the red parts. Because I'm going to have to do a lot of work to get that uh, white to look right. Let's get our brush. Let's get our... This is red metal flake, so it's going to have a nice metallic look to it. 
which I love metallic so yeah naturally I'm gonna go for that oops and yeah some of the paint just stuck right on to the little thing not a whole lot in here but should be enough to get some parts done so yeah we got our paint I'm gonna try to do this as close to the camera as I can a little splotchy coming on and maybe it would have been better if I put white down on this before putting the red but the gray primer should be enough to really bring it out. But this is going to be a deep red, which is not bad. Let's see if I can spread this out a little more, get it more even with the rest. other side yeah the idea is to make sure you don't get any uh, like brush strokes to show in or uh, any little ear bubbles so you gotta do it nice and slow and carefully. Not always something I'm good with, but okay. So right blend it in very carefully, very slowly. There's our first part. As you can see, yeah, it is a very deep red. A little deeper than I wanted, but I think that'll work. I mean, if I could have found it, I probably would have gone with candy apple red. But this uh, red metal flake will work pretty well for me. So what have you guys been up to lately? I mean, for me, it's been job hunting, playing a few games here and there, and trying to review videos and of course this like and I've been watching videos too kinda of getting all the buzz on that Five Nights and Freddy stuff <laughs> really interesting uh, lore to that game Although I'll probably never actually play it myself I'm not really good with uh, horror themes But it, but the lore behind it is, is interesting. How they uh, basically, uh, there's a guy who got into one of those animatronic suits to um, murder a bunch of kids who then came to haunt the suits and are out looking for revenge. It's quite interesting. 
especially the way they actually deliver the lore to it. Um, a lot of Easter eggs in the game. So that's pretty sweet stuff. And well, if you haven't played the third one, or haven't seen anything for the third one, I'm not going to spoil it, but that has some really good surprises in it. I mean, I've been watching the Let's Plays like Markiplier, um, Fusion Z, and Smike. So, yeah. Really good stuff. I mean, I'm always interested in a good story in a game. That's why I like RPGs most of the time, um, like Kingdom Hearts or Final Fantasy. The older Final Fantasies. Because <laughs> they always were interesting. Yeah, I'm painting the uh, hip joint. Now, since we got both of the thigh pieces... Yeah, I mean, a good storyline is really something. And a good delivery of that story really helps as well. Like, I love how Bioshock had all those audio logs that told you all the backstory for the city. That was pretty genius for uh, 2K. Or Ken Levine. You know? That, that was really good stuff. And... Get something like that, would, which would uh, get my interest, and yeah... I'd, I'll pay attention to it. In Bioshock's case, I actually played all the games. And while that one had a lot of scares to it, I wouldn't say it was uh, entirely a horror game. Which is probably why I was able to play it. And games like Resident Evil don't, don't always catch my interest. I played the... Uh, Chronicles games, like I, I actually beat uh, Dark Side Chronicles. I'm trying to get through Umbrella Chronicles, but you know that's more like an arcade shooter, and I can deal with that, even though it's kind of hard sometimes, especially going solo. But yeah. It, And there are plenty of cool games out there with a good story. I'm actually interested if they do a Five Nights of Freddy's 4 because I, I'd listen to this storyline for it and watch all the YouTubers. I don't know, maybe one day when I can I'll get a hold, try to get a hold of one of the games. Actually play through myself. Like I said, it's... Yeah, I've probably seen all the jump scares enough not to be worried about them anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, games that I've actually been playing lately, um... I don't know. Do you guys mind me talking about games while I do this? Uh, or do you want to talk about something else? <sighs> you like how frustrating it is when you finish painting something to only put it down and have it all messed up?
and that's something. Okay, but the uh, hip pieces are done. Hopefully they will look good when they're dry. May have to go back with those a bit. But I'm going to get to the feet. Because these are supposed to be red. At least at the toesies. I mean, this is going to be one of the more interesting ones. Because I'm going to have to go back and paint some parts white as well. Let's see if I can avoid uh, hitting the parts that need to be white and get the paint job in camera so you can see what I'm doing trying to paint it is tricky enough but trying to keep it in camera that's tough oh my yeah Games I've been playing, like uh, Kingdom Hearts, that's actually been one that I was kind of getting into. Finished Birth by Sleep, finally, which was really good. If you can get those uh, PlayStation 3 con uh, HD collections for Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, get them. And all the games are worthwhile. I mean, I've already beaten Kingdom Hearts when it was on PS2, but I'm going to go back and play it again, because it was a good game. And then maybe this time I'll go back and actually uh, beat some of the optional bosses, like Sephiroth, which I never beat it in beaten, uh, Kingdom Hearts 1. Beat them in 2, somehow. Got lucky, I guess. <laughs> And but yeah, I mean, it's, it's Kingdom Hearts is a good series. Um, really recommend that. And Birth by Sleep, um, so many interesting little tidbits in there. Really get into how Maleficent got started in the storyline, in the story. Um, you know, how Pete became a part of her crew. Um, and Xehanort's origins. And then now, uh, it fills in a lot of gaps for the main games. I mean, not just one, but two as well. Like, not just two, but one as well. Like, it'll actually get into some of the things that really would be interesting for both Kingdom Hearts 1 and Kingdom Hearts 2. Because, uh, believe it or not, Sora, Kairi, and Riku are all in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, but they're not playable characters. And when you see them, you'll understand why. I should try to keep this on camera so you can see what I'm doing. Just trying to get that red in. Yeah, I'm thinking I might go back with another color to get some of the sculpted detail picked out.
can be annoying how sometimes the paint will thicken up when you're trying to apply it. Makes it kind of not go as smooth as you'd like. Like with the white paint, since that's well known for thickening up, I'm going to be putting thinner, like mixing it with some thinner before actually trying to apply it. I almost think I should have done the same thing for the red. It seems to like to thicken up a lot too. For the most part, it's going on pretty well. Yeah. There we go. That's one foot started. I'll finish it once the red dries. Yeah, I'm going to be going at this little by little. And I wish this thing told me uh, where the uh, timer was. <laughs> Would make things easier. So this one might be coming up a little long. I'm going to cut it right after this foot. And maybe next part I'll figure out something different to talk about. And figure out a new timer system so I can actually accurately time these so they don't get too long too boring for you guys to watch because I'm sure then maybe find a better angle so you don't end up looking only at my hand for a couple minutes at a time I'm sure that's bothered somebody by now and I am sorry for that uh, but yeah, I've only painted the primer on the parts that I'm actually going to paint and display, so you'll find a little bit of blue here and there. Oh yeah, RC, um, I just recorded the audio last night for RC, so she should be out soon. I gotta get the video together, you know, take some shots, make sure I get it all in there, and then she'll be out soon enough. She may be one of my best ones yet. It's too early to tell, because like I said, I haven't even begun to shoot the video for it. I've only done the audio. <clears throat> but so far, um, the audio is really good. And I think I actually did better with the audio this time than I ever did before. Which is good. I'm... And I probably stop bragging like an idiot <laughs> but uh yeah this one it should be a really good one and i hope that when it comes out you guys will enjoy it Up. 
Just a little more. And, but, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about these, uh, customs videos. I mean, should I keep doing them, or do you just want to see the final product when it's done? Because since this is using parts from um, Shapeway set, I will be reviewing it when it's after fully uh, painted. But, you know, not all the customs I do will use Shapeways parts because some won't need them. Like the next one, which I've already got lined up. I'm going to be turning a Chromio. And this is probably going to be taking away the surprise of it. But uh, I'm going to be trying to make her into Ty from R.I.D. But um, that's going to be a ways off. Uh, this one has a ways to go. But I'm going to cut this video here and continue on the next one. So until that time, I will see you later. Bye-bye. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please, you can help out by uh, hitting that little like button below. Or maybe even that subscribe button to see more videos. Uh, you can also click on my name to actually look at past videos that I've done. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you later.